Now, with FDA's green signal for Neuralink's human trials, we might be on the verge of witnessing a superior human creation, one that's smarter than any human in history. Imagine that genius being Musk himself. Here's why I am invested in Tesla, and wish I could do the same with Neuralink and Musk's new AI venture, because the destination we're heading towards is exhilarating yet intimidating. Remember when Musk warned us about the speed of AI development and critics dismissed him? Now, he holds FDA approval for implanting computer chips in human brains. No other company is even close to what Neuralink is achieving. Neuralink's a neurotechnology firm that Musk initiated in 2016. The mission? To develop implantable brain-machine interfaces to augment human condition and address neurological conditions. Welcome back to the exciting realm of high-end horizons. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss a beat on all things Elon Musk, Tesla, and the future of technology. Now, I want to ask about an astounding leap forward in tech that is set to redefine our understanding of human intelligence and potential. Yes, you've guessed it, we're going deep into Elon Musk's Neuralink and the fascinating world of AI. What could possibly be the next stage in human evolution? Evolution. Let's dive in. Neuralink, Musk's ambitious neurotechnology venture, aims to directly connect the human brain with computers and external devices. It's a concept that frankly feels like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. Yet we're on the brink of this becoming our reality. Imagine being able to interact with AI systems seamlessly, creating a bi-directional flow of information between our brains and advanced technology. The mind boggles at the thought, yet this is exactly what Elon Musk and his team are working tirelessly to achieve. Now let's stop for a second. I want to hear from you, the viewer. How do you feel about this leap in technology? Does the idea of human and machine symbiosis fascinate you or send a shiver down your spine? Let me know in the comments below. Elon Musk has often expressed his views on the potential and the dangers of AI. He believes that merging with AI could save the human race from the possibility of AI dominance, a dystopian future none of us want to envision. With the tiny flexible electrode arrays developed by New Neuralink implanted into the brain, the possibilities are seemingly endless. This technology could restore motor function to individuals with paralysis, address neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease, and even push the envelope of human intelligence. The question then arises, are we ready for this revolutionary leap? Are we ready to step into the era of transhumanism, where the lines between humans and technology blur? Elon Musk seems to think so. The singularity, as it's often referred to, is this hypothetical point when technological progress specifically in artificial intelligence, surpasses human intelligence, making it difficult, if not impossible, to predict what comes next. It's a concept that scares some and excites others. This profound change could revolutionize science, medicine, economics, and our everyday lives. Imagine solving incredibly complex scientific problems with a simple thought or potentially eradicating diseases like cancer or heart disease the singularity could, potentially, do all that and more. As we head into this exciting, if not slightly nerve-wracking future, I'm left pondering about the power dynamics. With Elon Musk at the helm, how will this impact our world and society? More importantly, how do we feel about one man holding the reins of such an immense technological leap? For me, the future is clear. The age of AI and human-machine interfaces is here. It's not a matter of if, but when. It's a fascinating prospect that could unlock untold potential and reshape our world as we know it. Now, let's shift gears and delve a little deeper into the potential societal implications of this Neuralink technology. We've touched on the benefits, but it's only fair we discuss the potential concerns as well. Like all technological advancements, the consequences could be double-edged. For starters, there's the classic concern of privacy. In an era where our digital lives are already under a microscope, having a direct link between our brains and the internet could potentially open us up to even more intrusive surveillance. Where will the boundary between our personal thoughts and external information lie? The second issue is the risk of hacking. 
with Neuralink, we're not just talking about someone gaining unauthorized access to your email or social media accounts. We're talking about the possibility of someone hacking into your brain. The thought alone is terrifying, but it is something we need to address before this technology becomes commonplace. Third, there's the question of equality. If Neuralink becomes a reality, who gets access to it? Will it only be the privileged who can afford this technology? This could potentially create a greater divide in society, a world of haves and have-nots, or in this case, the enhanced and the non-enhanced. Now let's imagine a scenario where this technology becomes as common as a smartphone. How will this change our world? Will the education system need to change? If knowledge is at our brain's fingertips, then memorizing facts and figures might become obsolete. It could shift our focus towards skills like critical thinking and creativity that can't be simply downloaded into our brains. On the brighter side, imagine the countless opportunities for advancements in the field of medicine. Doctors could diagnose illnesses with more accuracy and speed. Psychologists could understand the human brain more deeply than ever before, leading to more effective treatments for mental health disorders. Now, this may sound like science fiction, but remember, so did self-driving cars and commercial space travel a few decades ago. With Neuralink, Elon Musk is pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. But let's not forget the other extraordinary projects Musk is heading. Let's discuss his ambitions for Mars colonization next, as it's closely connected to his vision for the future of humanity. SpaceX, another one of Musk's ventures, is leading the way in private space exploration. Their goal is not only to make space travel more affordable and accessible, but also to make life multiplanetary. They are developing the Starship, a vehicle designed to carry humans to Mars and establish a self-sustaining colony there. Why is Musk so adamant about colonizing Mars? He believes that in order to ensure the survival of humanity, we need to become a space-faring civilization. This way, even if a catastrophe were to wipe out life on Earth, our species could carry on. It's a grand futuristic vision that could fundamentally change our perception of what it means to be human. But what does Mars colonization have to do with Neuralink? Musk has mentioned that for a Mars colony to succeed, it would require a high degree of automation which is where AI comes in. This is where all of Musk's ventures tie in together. Tesla's self-driving technology, Neuralink's AI human interface, and SpaceX's interplanetary ambitions all form different parts of his grand vision. So as we move towards this brave new world, we need to have important conversations about how these technologies will shape our society, our ethics, and our humanity. It's not just about the technical feasibility, but also the moral, ethical, and societal implications of such a future. We are stepping into a future where we may have to redefine what it means to be human. Is a human only a biological entity, or can we extend it to a blend of biology and technology? How will we navigate these murky waters? Also, there are concerns about our dependence on technology. We've seen how people can feel lost without their smartphones. Imagine the effect if our brains were directly linked to technology. Would we be able to function without it once we become used to the enhanced capabilities it offers? The possibilities and implications are staggering. On one hand, we have the potential to evolve beyond our biological limitations. On the other hand, we risk losing a part of our humanity, our privacy, and even our autonomy. As with any technological breakthrough, it's important important to approach Neuralink with a mix of optimism and caution. So as we wrap up, let's remember that these explorations are not just about technological innovation, they are about the collective journey of humanity. As we chart our course into the future, let's ensure that it's a journey that cherishes our shared values, nurtures our shared aspirations, and works towards our shared well-being. Thank you once again for joining me on this exploration of the frontiers of technology and humanity. I hope this conversation has sparked your imagination and curiosity. Here's to the journey ahead. And remember, as we step into the future, let's keep asking questions, keep exploring, and keep dreaming. After all, it's our dreams and curiosity that have brought us this far, and they will be the ones to guide us into the future.